Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Say hello everybody. We went to my sister's house yesterday and Katie wanted to put a ponytail for her. So she has a pony. But um, I want to attempt to retie it. But she's been itching so it's been a bit loose. Some of the hair has come away from the pony. But maybe I'm just going to leave it like that. Because she looks so cute. Oh, your mommy. So anyway, I haven't vlogged in a while. So the last few vlogs that you guys have seen are all old, which I'm sure you may have put two and two together and figured it out. Um, so yeah, I need to get back into putting timestamps and all of that stuff. But yeah, I have a, another vlog. That's why I said the last few because I have one more vlog that's gonna go up before this one. I have not vlogged in a couple of weeks because I've just been telling myself, let me edit these two vlogs, then I will film more. So now I'm starting this one so that I can motivate myself to edit the, the last one that's sitting in my to edit folder. <laughs> but yeah, I went to KRC Aesthetics um today to do my laser underarms legs um and yeah my legs are looking so good you guys she's been doing this peel on my legs i don't know if i ever told you guys um but i got very badly burned by a different laser it was like a hypersensitivity reaction but yeah my skin was like super inflamed like blistering and then I was left with like really bad scarring and I had really stunning legs if I do say so myself So I'm so glad that they're finally getting back to where they were Listen, if there's anything about me, it was my legs that were really I'm not I'm not tooting my own horn, but Why must I not? <laughs> so yeah, um What else did I want to say to you guys? Oh, I have been like in a funk for a while. <sighs> like, you know, as a creative, you end up with creative blocks sometimes. So I'm getting out of that rut finally. Um, it's just now I have Aru, so I've got to figure out like my schedule, all of that stuff. Also, my skin is not doing the greatest this week, but it's because I, I picked up my skin. So all of these scabs are from me picking at my skin. So I'm waiting for those to kind of go away and for the skin to heal. Because you do see it through makeup, you know. Um, so just kind of loading up on my vitamin C serums, all of that stuff. Probably going to do a mask, like a hydrating mask tonight. Kiehl's sent me this avocado one. So really excited to try that. Um, I dumb planed my face today because I also started doing face laser. And I'm going to say, like, I love it. I love like seeing the hair grow back in patches like it's very exciting uh i keep yawning because i have not had caffeine for the day it is two minutes past 12 and i've got a bit of admin like emails uh business whatsapp queries all of that good stuff so i'm just gonna attend to those um i also need to eat so that's on my priority right now just gonna see to my emails my appointment was at half past nine and i got home before 11 traffic was nuts um yeah so my plan for today is just to edit some content for short form videos I filmed a makeup tutorial the other day. I wasn't really feeling it. But I also filmed a lippy of the day. The other day. But I think I'm still going to upload it. Because I think it's very pretty. Hey everyone. I come back. It is. 6 minutes past 9. Yo. Yeah. I'm tired. Um, usually. I don't. Uh, vlog. After a certain time. Because I try and reach like a. A healthy life work balance because I mean this is technically still work it's it's a lot of work to edit and upload and all of that stuff I just uploaded um, my vlog from a month ago <laughs> 
it was the GHD, uh, I was going to say Kronos, not the Kronos, it was the GHD uh, Duet Blow Dry event. So I just uploaded that now. And it's actually been a month since I vlogged, just over a month since I vlogged. Because at the end of that vlog, I had a KRC aesthetics appointment. And today I had a KRC aesthetics appointment. I'm brushing my teeth. Put your beautiful, put your beautiful, put your beautiful. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm currently making lunch and yesterday um, I was asking you guys like what content do you enjoy like with long form content and I got a few questions so I figured instead of doing like a separate video I would do it in this video because there's, there's, not, a, there's not like a ton, you know, there's a good few. So let's get into it um okay firstly the reason why i have makeup on is because i filmed this makeup look i've been in a funk for like a hot minute in terms of like content creation and all of that stuff and i finally feel like i'm getting back into it i also did a blow wave tutorial with the do it blow dry so that will be on the short form content i'll try and i try and remember to upload things that i upload on short form here on shorts also so that if you guys only follow me on youtube you can still see what i'm getting up to and if i reference anything you know what i'm talking about so let's get into it shall we um how to deal with narcissistic how to deal with narcissistic people because i want to kill girl drawing boundaries you have to draw boundaries especially if it's family like you can't control how these people are you can't control how they behave i need to straighten this camera but what you can do for yourself is create boundaries so i think that's really important it's just having boundaries sticking to them and don't let anybody take you otherwise because narcissistic people they will try you honey they will try you and try you again so yeah boundaries how to stay motivated as a single girl doing the most because men aren't many i don't know hey i think you have to make a choice you're either gonna wait for a man for you to be able to achieve certain things or you're gonna do it on your own you know and i think like the men are just not meaning they are not but yeah i feel like you have to take it upon yourself to just do you like guys i thought i had to wait for somebody aru are you okay i think she's getting her toys out of the um toy box um but yeah you know i always thought that you know maybe i am going to have to wait until i find a partner to be able to do certain things like move out for the first time or get a dog for the first time and i'm doing all of those things without having a man in my life or without consistently having somebody i could count on like even when i dated I think my last year's relationship was 2021 
even when I dated, like, I couldn't count on these people. So, I feel like you just have to work on yourself, heal, and ask yourself, what are you doing that is causing you to attract all of these men that you can't count on? There goes my air fryer. Let me go. Okay, let's let it stop. Let me finish what I'm saying here. So, yeah, I feel like it's really important to... Um, just stay the course. Whatever you want to do, try and achieve that to the best of your ability. Do what your heart is calling you to do. Um, and how do you stay motivated? You, you have to want a better life for yourself, first and foremost. You can't want a better life now that you have a partner. You gotta make hay while the sun shines, or so they say. Like, I don't know how to answer that question because Whenever I've left situations, it's never been like I'm going to crawl under a rock and die. It's like, if they come back to check on me, they're not going to find me where they left me. So, yeah. It's kind of complicated. Um, somebody says, you're like a big sister. What's your best advice for me? I'm 21. Oh, thank you. I'm like your internet akka. A lot of you guys have been calling me your internet akka as of recently on Instagram. I would say, focus on your career. You are still young. You have such a long way to go. You can, the great thing about being 21 is that you can make mistakes and you are still young enough to recover from them. But the biggest thing I would say is stop placing so much a focus on marriage and kids. Focus on making yourself happy first. All of that will fall into place. You will get into a relationship. You will find a partner eventually. But we place so much of emphasis on finding a partner, getting married, it's its like the same chronological order. You finish matric, right? You get good results. You go into university, you finish university, you get married. You get married, you have children. You have one child, you have another child. Then consistently also and concurrently, you must also work on your career and do this and do that and do 500 other things at the same time. Live your life, you are young. Live your life, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And um, again, follow your heart. Do what your heart is calling you to do. Do you have a cheat day during your health journey? No, I don't. I used to have a cheat day a couple of years ago, but then I realized like a cheat day is just one whole day to make really bad choices, guys. Like I will have a cheat meal. I don't even, I, I also stopped calling it cheat because I feel like we have negative connotations to food when we call it cheat meal, cheat this, cheat, th cheat, 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 right? This is just my humble opinion and this is just my view on it. But I feel like I have a meal, say I want takeout. I think of how many calories is this takeout gonna be? I don't have takeout regularly, but there are times when I'm exhausted and I don't have energy to cook. And usually I would have only had breakfast for the day. So I know that takeout is gonna take up majority of the calories that I'm supposed to consume per day. And I know that I barely hit my calories per day anyway. So yeah, I don't have a cheat day. I just, if I'm feeling for a chocolate, I have a chocolate that is 100 calories. Kit Kat Two Fingers, 100 calories. Chomp, 100 calories. Triggs, packet of chips, 100 calories. Just stay within your calories. It, it doesn't have to be like a day thing or whatever. Like as long as you're in your calories. Obviously, have healthy habits because it doesn't make sense to be on a health journey and then be eating junk every day. It doesn't make sense. Okay, then. What are the benefits of drinking sparkling water? So I've been posting that I drink sparkling water as of recently. Uh, there's no benefits, darling. It's just that I am feeling for coke. Coke has a lot of sugar. Sugar and fat besties. So instead of drinking coke, I drink sparkling water. Flavored sparkling water. That's it. I'm gonna go eat. I am starving. Hungry. Mm? Are you hungry? Mommy never gave you. I came back. I came back. Okay, 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 ok
I came back. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong? Okay, mommy is baby. Okay. Okay, 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 okay,
I'm not going to eat that right now because it's cold. Then I got some bananas. I'm going to eat one now. Because I was sitting in the advent and I'm hungry. And yeah. That's basically it. Oh, I don't, I don't think I show you guys this. Chili tomato puffs. And I was just craving it and I saw it. And it was like 10 rand. So I was like, when last did you get something that was 10 rand? That's all I ordered today. I was under the coffee table eating her snacks. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm making myself for lunch. And then, yeah. I'm actually I'm gonna do a hot dog. Guys, I never thought I'd be like my mother, cutting the onions straight into the pot, but here I am. I always used to say, me, I need a chopping board. I'm too lazy to take out the chopping board now. Sorry, the kitchen's not going to be the tidiest right now, but I am making butter beans. And I've already made rice. So I'm making butter beans and rice for supper. So, I just filmed my new format of my solo cast Sinesh Sundays is coming back it may not be on Sundays but um, I have so much to say and I've had so many people say to me you should start a podcast and I've gone and I've said listen I have a solo cast on my channel called Sinesh Sundays it's, it's under a playlist and you can go watch it and this person came back to me and they're like I've watched every single video and I love it so much and so listen even if my solo cast is just reaching one person, that's all that matters. But something that I think I forgot to add on that episode is that we should always be teachable. I'm adding it here and I'll probably do it in the next episode as well. But we should always be teachable. You know, life is not about the bad things that happens to us. Life is about what we make of it. What we make of the bad things that happens to us. Because your life is basically an amalgamation of all the choices you make and sometimes your choices are in reaction to what happens to you so you're going to sit there and you're going to wallow in your misery because life happens to all of us you know i've touched on a few things in that video but i didn't really go too much in depth because with the people i'm dealing with ah guys it's like you might as well say the bare minimum because they will make drama for nothing out of nowhere but I'm sure I got my point across in the things that I needed to say. Um, but, like, it's important to take accountability for your actions, for your role in your own suffering, for the things that you do that are not in your best interests. And I've really had to take stock of that this past year and really be like, why do I allow myself to sell myself short each and every time. What am I hoping for? What am I hoping to achieve by selling myself short? What am I hoping to gain by selling myself short? Because there's nothing that's going to come out of me looking down upon myself. Nothing. There's nothing that's going to come out of me not believing in myself. You know? So just remember, guys. Believe in yourself. There's gonna be there's gonna be people that are gonna give in to the words, the ugly words that you say to yourself, and there's gonna be people that are gonna smack the nonsense out of you and say, "Are you mad? That's not what it is." And sometimes it is what it is, guys. Like, I had a conversation with my trainer today, and she was literally like, "There's no reason for you to be single, but maybe men are just scared. Maybe they're just intimidated by you." Maybe they think you're high maintenance, but you're actually really not. And I was like, you know what? I need a guy who's going to look at my profile and say she looks high maintenance, but I want to maintain her. Not fully, because I don't think I'll ever let a man fully take care of me. I have too much pride for that. And maybe that's where my problem lies. 
maybe I have too much pride to fully let a man take care of me. And that's why I attract the wrong nonsense people that want to take advantage of the fact that I have pride. We are all a work in progress, guys. We, we are all a work in progress. So yeah, my onions are beginning to fry up. Um, I don't remember how I made this the last time, but we're gonna make it work, I guess. Hi everyone, somehow this always becomes my unboxing place <laughs> in the kitchen. Um, Aru's um, car blanket is in the washing machine currently. So you probably might be able to hear that. But I have a really cool box from BT Art Box Nails. Very exciting because you guys know I do my own nails. And this is just a PR package, but I'm very honored. Like, they shipped it from overseas, guys. I'm very honored that they were sending this to me. So let me show you guys what I got. Might do my nails tonight, but I have the gym tomorrow. So if I do do my nails tonight, I need to make haste. <laughs> um, maybe I'll start off with the soak off process on my nails. Because it's actually time for me to do my nails. I don't know if you guys can see. there you go yeah it's time for me to do my nails so i'm very honored very blessed let me show you guys what they sent me they sent me the french protecting duo x coat tips this is the x coat tips range and there is a builder gel in here and a top coat so love that then they also sent me their UV LED nail lamp. Very exciting. Oh, I have one from Mascara. So I think it's time for me to sell my one from Mascara. Because I actually bought it from Mascara. This is another sign that I should start my Jaeger. Because what is the reason for me to have so many? This is really cute though. You press the button there. Obviously it's not plugged in. Then they sent me a nail file, love that. They sent me their solid gel glue. It comes in a tube, in case you guys wanna see it. BT Art Nails is actually quite reasonably priced, guys. I think for these nails, it was like 500 Rand. Bear with me, right? So I have the short coffin. Okay, wait, I swapped the boxes. Short coffin, yes. It was saying medium almond and I was like, that is not a medium almond. Short coffin. This is what they look like. I haven't done coffin in a while, so I was like, let me try. Also, I'm in my short nail era, guys. I can't do long nails anymore. Even this length is beginning to get to me. Like, I just, I can't. I just can't. My sleigh queen days are behind me. Um, and then this is the medium almond which you guys know I love a good medium almond um, so I already broke the packaging because I twisted all the way back but anyway it's fine so this is the French edition and I love this guys because it already comes buffed the tips that I use, they all are shiny, right? You've got to buff them in the back, which these are already, they already have a matte finish at the back. So it cuts down your tip, prepa tip preparation time, cuts down so many nitty gritty steps because you've even got to go and brush inside here to make sure there's no dust and stuff that collects in there. So very excited. So we have like a light pinky peach. Don't know if you, there we go. Then we have, whoops, like a nude. This is like a cream. This is a brown. They're all like nude tones. Very, very pretty. And then this is like a peachy. 
another variation of a peach there we go so i'm very excited because you can mix and match with these you don't have to have all of the same shade um i'm trying to see how i can show you guys all the different colors so this is a peachy peachy pink nude nude this is more beige this is a pinky nude light pinky this is a beige this is a peach so there's definitely a color differentiation between all of these and uh, i'm very very excited to get into these oh my gosh and yeah i've been doing my nails now for a while so i'm very very excited and yeah i love how they have just created such a cool system to ensure that these last long and that we're getting like the best result so these are called the x coat tips now these are like 500 and something grand per box right but these gonna say 500 tips <laughs> there is 150 tips in here and there's five colors right i don't know what the sizing is like how many different sizes is there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen different sizes you might be able to get five maybe six sets of nails out of this and when you consider that 500 divided by five or six sets of nails let's say 550 to round off right divided by six sets of nails that's 91 rand 91 rand what that's wild guys so i'm very very impressed and when they asked me to pick like the colors i was like i am so impressed I am so impressed. Hello. Let me give you guys an update. Happy Wednesday. The lighting is so much better now. Excuse me. I just ate lunch. I had eggs and sourdough bread. Please look at how good these nails turned out. They're probably going to be on shorts before I get a chance to post on before you guys see this vlog can you focus there we go so cute this is my right hand and my right hand always looks wonky because i am right-handed as much as i am a little ambidextrous my left hand is not as strong as my right hand so i get cramps in my left hand Whew. but yeah i filmed it last night when i was doing my nails so i filmed this makeup look I thought it would be nice to do like an affordable makeup look. I have been loving my luxury products for a hot minute. So I thought, okay, let's try affordable. I was playing with the bottle, so that's what that noise is. And yeah, I'm tired now after I've eaten. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I started off my morning by watching Mommy Club. No, Mommy. Hello. Excuse me. That's my package. I was um, smelling the Shein package. So yeah, this is my Shein package. I have a simple patch on currently. I'm most excited to open this one. I was also very excited. Look at her. Mommy, I don't think I got in. Oh, I did get things for you. I did get things for you. So, this is a switcheroo for the Stanley Cups, the dupe Stanleys. So, I'm very excited. Let's see. You guys can see I always have my cups. Just making sure the straw is long enough. Anyway, you guys can't see anything. Let me pick you back up. So yeah, this is the 
new straw contraption instead of buying a whole new um, vacuum flask you just buy this attachment so I'm very excited about that I need to wash this very excited about that so I'll just leave it in here let me do that I also got a suction thingy although this one's not as good as the one that I originally bought this is clothes for Aro. I bought her all like summer vests. So these are very, very thin. How cute. How cute. Oh my goodness. I still want to put clothes for her in summer, but I don't want her to be hot, you know. Oh, so. I am a kid in a candy store. This is also for my car. This is to put my Stanley's. Right? Tell you why. The space that I currently have for my cups. This is to put at the side of your seat. The space I currently have for my cups is right by my gear. And I can't change. It keeps hitting the gear. And I don't want to ruin the fabric around the gear change. So this is for the car. I need to put that in there today. Maybe I'm gonna take my Stanley. I'm gonna do all the clothes last. I don't know how many clothes I have. Oh I got a She Glam beauty sponge. I got this video light from Shein. I just feel like sometimes like when you create content or when you go to certain events like the lighting is not the greatest so oh this has batteries why didn't I think to get the rechargeable one I'm tough sometimes you know that anyway I can't open that with my nails why did I think I got a rechargeable one Anyway, it's affordable, so it wasn't that expensive, so it's fine. I don't want to spend a lot of money on this order. We've got hair ties. I got these colorful ones for Aru because I've been tying ponytails on her. Got another Aru coat. I think I'm going to do a video showing Aru stuff. There's so much of small things in this package. Eyelashes. The small little bag. Oh guys, it's so cute. Almost like a pencil case. But it's like perfect for keeping stuff in your handbag, you know? And these were like 60 bucks. Very cute. Very, very cute. We have screen protector, unbreakable membrane. I needed one for my phone because I had the tempered glass and then I dropped it in the whole glass and I was like, <laughs> fun. The mother load in the corner. Guys, I didn't even pay customs for this. Can I just say that? Oh my god, there's the mother load. Huh? Which one is this? Oh! Oh! I ordered a watch strap band for my watch. Completely forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. What's this? Okay, let me put all of the things that are already unboxed back in here. I might be missing a few things, but never mind. Okay, these are blue light glasses. I don't know where my one blue light glasses is. I cannot find it for the life of me. So I got a few different styles. 
Ooh, vibes. There's a tortoise. Tortoise. I always say tortoise as in turtle and tortoise. Um, so yeah, I got these. You can see they are quite flimsy. But I mean, listen, they're just for home use and for me to wear when I'm wearing... Not when I'm wearing, but when I have my devices. There's also a clear one. So, I can have one by my bedside, one in the lounge. And all of that stuff. So, these puff containers. I thought these were going to come with puffs. Oh, one broke but they're just to hold your powder puff. Oh well, that's good enough. Then there's these. Aru is currently playing with her stuff. There's these little exacto knives. Yo. Oh, you push it all the way up. Yeah, little exacto knives to like open up packages and all of that stuff. It's way easier than scissors and my scissors are for my kitchen stuff you know like i don't want to stuff contaminate <sighs> there's another aru i have to open this because you can't see there's another aru top this looks a bit too small though oh it might fit her it might fit her Hey, boo. There's another one. Mom's princess. And then I saw this somewhere. I saw this somewhere and I saw that somebody I saw this on TikTok where somebody had a universal sharpener for their makeup like regardless of what size pencil you have there is a sharpener for it so I was like this is a good thing to have because and it's broken it's cracked here but you know what it's fine because for some luck by the grace of God I did not pay customs on this order out of maybe because they broke my stuff that's why i didn't have to pay customs <laughs> it's fine it's minor things i'm not too pressed anyway you know not too pressed not too stressed what is this oh I ordered like these t-shirt bras because guys I'm so dick of wearing like normal bras oh these are nice that's nice that's nice oh I also ordered this really cute top I'm not gonna try it on you guys will just have to be surprised when you see me wearing it Hopefully this fits. <gasps> this is an open back sports brazier. Oh, maybe I should wear this today. You know why? Because I'm going to go to the gym and I have to come home and wash it anyway. Might as well just sweat in it, right? Maybe not. And then this is a top that has padding in it. I've been looking for tops that have padding in them so that I don't actually have to wear a bra. Genius. Very excited about that. And yeah, I think that's about everything. 
I'm not mistaken. No, there's more. Oh, this is a skirt. And I will wash Aru's clothes before I put them on her. So, yeah, that is my Shein order. And that is it for me. Let me see. Let me see. If I'm doing a good job, yeah. Let me see if I can loosen this. Can do the side. You're looking like you got wing liners, your girl. Tails are giving. Hmm? You're so good, mommy. You're so good. Okay guys, I'm getting ready. The weather is so crazy today. Like what the actual heck is going on? I'm going to do some GHD Kronos curls. Um, I haven't done like, try to zoom out. I haven't done curls in a hot minute, but yeah. I also relayed my hair should I just straighten it probably should just straighten it because I washed my hair yesterday and just let it air dry while I was on my way to my client just gonna put this to heat up and I'm just gonna do some basic makeup I'm not gonna film it or anything um, I filmed a makeup tutorial last week so I would have a makeup tutorial to post this week on my socials so yeah Okay, so I just made some chicken and mayo toasted sandwiches with some cheese. This is my lunch and my supper. And yeah, I'm having some green juice as well. This toasted sandwich is so good. I put some cheese in here as well. Because from tomorrow, we're going to be eating very clean. I'm using sourdough bread as well. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It is the beginning of Portasi. Nanny is here. I just made myself a cup of coffee and I just did a checkers order as well because I am making hot dog rolls and chips for us for lunch. It's really cold today, like kind of do washing like yo oh, guys there's a lot of going on and I need to do my juices for the week so we've got two thirsty waters the 
I've got kumquats. I'm gonna try and make my mother's like amazing kumquat pickle. We're gonna see. We're gonna try. Rolls. Cheese. Hold on for our a treat for me. Butter beans. Another can of butter beans. Dishwashing liquid, check his brand. And facial tissues, also check his brand. Sourdough bread. Green beans. Lemons. and bake potatoes because up to date was out of stock all of these away in the fridge and freezer and cupboard and I'm gonna have something to eat for breakfast either oats or wheat picks or future life boring same old boring days you guys always see probably an outfit that doesn't need a bra I don't want you to look top heavy I don't think you should look top heavy. I don't know what you're yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want to look like a lot. That <laughs> was very important. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, my, my mind was definitely... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank okay. you so much, Doc. Let me see. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. It's nothing huge. It's nothing major. Oh, you're beautiful. It's just something oh, to make you feel really And I'm going to start with... Don't itch it off. Hair. Hey, may I please wash the fruit for me, babe, and put it on the tray? Okay. I am preparing sweet rice, which is a white rice dish. It's a sweet dish that we offer at prayers. Don't eat and it. Together Hello. With chickpeas, we call it kadla. We also make sure that we have dish. It's a oh, sweet dish. Oh, just full, full, full. Oh, just chamakish, full, full, full. With chickpeas, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We, call it we also make sure that we have fruit and milk. Ah, 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 and we ah, offer ah, all of this when we go upstairs to pray. Did you speak to Auntie Lorsha? Are they going to make it on time? I spoke to Daneha, so she said that they were coming. But I'm not entirely sure what time. I think uh, Auntie Lorsha dashed at school until a little bit late. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I'm gonna leave like the first part of the vlog in here, but we'll see in editing how that goes. I know I have not been on here in a very hot minute. To be honest, there's just been a lot going on. There has been a lot that I've had to wrap my head around. Um, I'm also like on my own healing journey. Um, and you know, sometimes mentally, if you are struggling, it translates in every aspect of your life. And that's just the reality of the matter. I'm gonna go light Agra Agrabati because there was a fly in here just now. So yeah, also it has been Purtasi, so I've really tried to like, you know, align my mind, body, soul. So yeah, it has been challenging to say the least. Um, also, it is Purtasi. Let me turn for you. Purtasi, it has been Purtasi, so obviously I have tried to like detox my life, try not to spend as much time on social media or get involved in drama and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like not necessarily even get involved in drama, but just watch it happen, you know? So yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and complain to you guys, but I, I feel like um, everything happens for a reason and a purpose and it's important to um, realign your mindset um, and yeah I think you guys know like from the time I entered the content creation space like it's been 
I would say 20 times harder for me to get opportunities versus my peers but that's just the journey I'm on I trust the process I trust that I'm maybe in a quiet season now so that the blessings that are coming will take up all my time I also realized that when you are in a very blessed season it's a lot of hard work it is very time consuming and I think God is just giving me time to enjoy with Aru to get my headspace right to work on my mental health and not that my mental health is suffering in any way but I just overthink a lot of things and I end up questioning my worth and my value and I think I've done this my entire life and I've sabotaged myself in many ways um, but yeah if you guys are struggling like I am just know you're not alone like we all go through it just because I am single living my best life I have a beautiful angel baby um, or fur baby rather doesn't mean that my life doesn't come without difficulties but it's been a good week it has been an incredible week so far um, I went to comic-con on Sunday with my family it was so nice it was my first comic-con ever and I got a tattoo I've been wanting like a, a wrist bracelet ish tattoo for like the longest time so I finally got it I almost got a Goku but Yeah, maybe another time. I don't know where I would put Goku. Maybe I should get like a Super Saiyan here. I think that would be a vibe. Oh, I saw somebody on Mummy Club Sugar and Spice with like a, it looked like a Kadi or like some goddess tattoo, but like a fierce goddess. She had it on this arm and I was like, it's giving, you know? Anyway, so today I went to a Dove event. It was at half past 11 and it's currently 20 to 4. I got home about like 40-ish minutes ago. So let me show you guys what I got in the goodie bag. So they're introducing their new body wash. Um, and it has so many new innovative changes, not just to the packaging, but to the actual formula. So I love a good body wash. Um, at the event they actually created custom created like body scrubs for us um, so I'm very excited about this I have like rose and all of that stuff in here I'm very very excited to get into this um, if you guys don't know I've actually been working with Dove for the last couple of months and I'm so incredibly blessed that I get to have this opportunity to represent brown girls like it is and in the last week I, oh, I went for a Fenty event on Monday evening as well where we got to have like a virtual like little masterclass with Priscilla Ono which is the global makeup artist for Fenty and Rihanna's personal makeup artist and you know I've just been getting so many compliments recently that just affirms that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be you know um, having people compliment me on how real I am and how authentic I am and how I'm just doing it for the brown girls just it warms my heart because that's who I'm doing it for the brown girls girls who look like me who did not have representation something like 10 years ago and again guys it's not for the fame it's not for the fortune it's really not for that. Yes, I would still want incredible opportunities, but I'm not doing it to be famous and I'm not doing it to be rich either. I am content. <laughs> Just being able to give myself a fair enough, like a fairly good life. I was going to say fair enough good life, but anyway. Um, so then we have a candle as well. Oh, this is a fluted candle. It's unscented. It's from at home. How cute. This can go on my little... Um, well, this is currently on my table now, but I think she needs to be burnt because she's already changing color. So maybe this one can go on my little... Not my coffee table, but my table in my kitchen. We have a Dove Beauty Cream Bar. Love this. Always have to have one in my household at all times. We have an Invisible Dry Dove. Love this. I love the roll-on. I've been obsessed with the roll-on as of recently. Then we also have an Even Glow Body Lotion. 
um, I'm on my second tub of this new Dove body cream range. I first tried the rich or intense. I first tried the intense moisture one, which is the like brownish burgundy packaging. Now I'm on the rich. Um, I don't know what the name is. I use it every day. I don't know what the name is. I'm on the rich one. So I guess next I'm going to try Even Glow. Very excited about that. I love these body lotions. And then lastly, we have the Nourishing Care Argan Oil Shower Gel. Very excited to try this out. They also have like a gentle scrub one. I need to try that one. I need it in my life. And the most ideal thing is that you can now store it like this. So you guys know with the old packaging, you couldn't really store it on its head. Um, now you can store this on its head. So I absolutely love that. And that is basically what I got in this little PR package. I'm very blessed. I love Dove. I have been a fan of Dove for a very, very long time. Also with my tattoos, I only use Dove as aftercare. When I'm done removing this second skin, um, I probably will remove it by tomorrow or Saturday. She said five days. I got it. I got this tattoo on Sunday. So I probably will remove my second skin tomorrow after work. Or maybe Saturday after work. Because I don't. last thing I want to do is injure my tattoo during work. Um, and then yeah, I will just wash it with Dove for the rest of the whole healing journey process so yeah you guys so yeah that's basically it i'm gonna relax for a little bit and then i'm gonna make butter beans or butter chicken style butter beans um i basically make butter beans with like coconut cream basically like how you would make butter chicken or like butter paneer but i'm making it with beans so i'm very very excited about that I, that this has been like one of my go-to meals as of recently. I absolutely love it. It's so delish. I might need to place a checker's order to get. Um, Aru is also eating. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She is finally eating kibble. Well, it's not technically the kibble brand, but I just bought her a new batch of food um, because the old food she doesn't like to chew it. She doesn't like to crunch it and. With this food, she's really enjoying crunching. The previous food, I've had to like put hot water in it and wash it up. Come check, come check one hello, mommy. Come check one hello for the people. Hmm? She's so beautiful and she's getting so big. Are you okay? Hmm? Did you enjoy your lunch? Did you enjoy your lunch, my mom? Hmm, licking the chops. She's so precious, guys. Like, just me and Aru against the world. She's the most precious angel in the whole wide world. She is so loving. She's just everything. I even trimmed like her paw fur. Yo, guys, we've had a rough. Also, another reason why I've been MIA the whole of last week, this madam had a runny tummy. TMI. But her tummy was upset and we literally just had to wait it out. Go down my mommy. Go drink water. Bless you. Go drink water. We just had to wait it out because she was teething and it's her back teeth that are cutting. So it was not a fun time. I was not even sleeping well <laughs> throughout the night. Um, they just, She's just like a human baby. Literally just like a human baby. So I was not sleeping well the entire week last week. Bless you. Because she was up like throughout the night she was outside 10 15 minutes and you must know in 10 15 minutes you are already waking up um so yeah it it was a lot but she's better now thank god and yeah um hopefully this is the last of the teething bless you bless you hopefully this is the last of the teething and the last of the cold. Are you barking at me or are you sneezing? Because me, I don't know. <laughs> She's also very clingy. Like, that's also why it took me like probably an 40 minutes to start like get into this vlog. Because 
I had to sit and play with her when I got home. Well, I changed and then I played with her. So, yeah, it's it's a lot, but she's such an incredible blessing in my life. And if there's anything I did right this year, I'm talking about you, man. If there's anything I've done right, it's definitely her. Anyway, she wants my attention again. So let me go. I will try and vlog. Wait, can you just give me two seconds? Can you just give me two seconds? Oh, the attitude also. Oh, Lord. The attitude is wild. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys a bit later. Okay, so I have done a few things. I did a checkers order. I cooked supper and now I need to wash brushes so just getting my brush washing towel ready and yeah <sighs> trying to find the energy to do all my work it's exhausting but yeah I've been watching The Rookie so I am gonna continue watching while I wash brushes and then it's time to go to bed I need to be up by 7 tomorrow it's gonna be a long day tomorrow but God is good